Hello, humans and animals alike. This is Dylus, and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. So, now that we've uh, scoured through all of the artisan's uh, home world and. Dang, those tulips really aren't having a good day today. <laughs> And we got everything there is in Dark Hollow. Time to go do some other levels. Oh, by the way, notice. Now that we've cleared a level, we can now go face the artisan's boss right now. Also, I'm gonna show you something. The artisan's boss has through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. Argus has a different line for after you've completed um, one of the uh, artisan worlds, artisan uh, levels. By the way, collecting a whole uh, circle of pearls um, will grant Spyro an extra life. You may want to do this for some of the later levels. Okay, let's go to Stonehill. competition. We're better than the ram. Okay, let's rescue Lendar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. That's always so satisfying. Just ramming through all the chests at once. You only get that opportunity once per playthrough, so... That's great that I got it. Down here is a, a well, I suppose? And there's a dragon here. Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> that eye roll. <laughs> Um, while I've, uh, just rescued Gavin, um, I just want to say I, I found an animation, uh, on a DeviantArt that portrays, uh, now in the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, um, all the dragons have been given, like, uh, apparel and some other things to distinguish them from other dragons, because, uh, well, in the uh, classic Spyro games, they don't really seem to have much to uh, set them apart other than name. So, uh, yeah. Gavin, uh, was basically, uh, 
coffee uh, brewer, I believe. So, yeah, when you rescue him, you see him like pouring coffee. And somebody thought to make an animation on DeviantArt about Spyro ordering coffee from Gavin, and I just think it is one of the most adorable uh, Spyro pieces of art I've seen. It really makes me want like a Spyro TV show, or some shorts at least. Gildas. Spyro, my friend! How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Okay. Get these gems. And we're basically in the uh, upper and outer region of the Stone Hills. Also, something cool. These are posts that have this uh, barrier. <laughs> Probably for some sort of protection, but of course it's also to make sure you don't go too far out of bounds. Kind of a way to make it look like that the scenery is uh, extending further than it really is. Lots of hills. They could have made all of this flat ground, but no, they're hills. varying steepness, too. Lovely. I know there's something else up here. Better run, sheep. <laughs> uh, I know you're around here somewhere. There's supposed to be somebody dressed in blue around here, but I can't find him. Maybe I'll just come back. Really weird. Alright, here's the last dragon here, Astor. Pat to you, freed all the dragons. Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Hmm. 
this is going to become a running trend for uh, Spyro. When he rescues the old dragons, they have a tendency to tell, want to tell stories, and considering how uh, experienced these elder dragons are, well, he's going to be in for a pretty long time, and he wouldn't really want that. Oh, I didn't see you. Five gems. Where might they be? feeling that that guy didn't actually, uh, load for some reason. Oh! There he is! I heard him. There you are! You're all the way over there? See you. We want to be on the lookout for these egg thieves. Cause yeah, we want to free. We want to rescue the uh, dragon eggs here. They don't actually really serve that much purpose in this game, but uh, I heard that there were plans to make them more significant, but I think they just like ran out of time. And there are the last two gems. There's a beach over there. I didn't really point that out, but I guess you saw me go through it. It's another, like, nice place to relax, I'd say. Just down by the cliffs and the little... I guess this whole place would be a castle, huh? Because it has, like, a lot of, uh, castle, uh, characteristics around. Can't really enter any of them, though, except for the ones that have openings. Like, actual openings that you can walk through. Hi!
Okay. Now for Town Square. This one isn't hard to pass by. Mills. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Might as well save while I'm here. Wanna have a ramming competition? You guys seem humiliated. There, better. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean for that to happen, but don't. <laughs> Here's Devlin. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? I actually just noticed that he actually scratched the tip of his wing. I actually never noticed that. Here's another dragon, Alvar. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen the dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> that guy's funny. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, the Egg Thief is all the way over here. Piece of cake. Just remember that you can, uh, flame right out of a charge. Sneaky here. Check every corner you can.
these things are fun. Faster! And that's how they break. So we can get the gems inside. Oh yeah, Dragon Thor. Thank you for releasing me! <laughs> Not what one would think of when they hear the name Thor, you know? Not with a voice like that. Alright. I feel like this went by a little quick, so, uh, let's just have a bit of a stroll around town. Got a bunch of free-range chicken. Pretty much all of what we consider fodder is uh, free-range. You just yeah, encounter them and then cook them whenever we like. And Sparks would have a butterfly that somehow come out of what we burn. Yeah, the logic in the spiral world is kind of weird. Gosh, looking at these mountains is pretty breathtaking. I actually was once in a mountain region. Uh, it was uh, all green though, it's not like rocky here or snowy. I live in a region where there's a lot of green mountains, full of uh, forestry. And I think that about wraps it up for today's episode. So, next time, we're going to have ourselves a fight with the boss. With that said, this is Dylas signing off.